So the kids went down for a nap, and we're just going to walk around and harvest some things. So far we've gotten some red noodle beans. Whew, tell you what, this Texas heat is no joke. Got the Chinese red noodle beans. Probably ready to cut. Yeah, this one's ready to be cut, but then we've got other little ones here coming in. Got Kajari melon here, getting nice and plump. I think about two more weeks on this one, then we'll be able to eat it. But look at this. This is really the time where the hard work is starting to pay off. So when your melons, whether they're watermelons, even cucumbers if you want to, you don't really have to for cucumbers, but for melons, um, when they start to get kind of heavy, you just want to secure them onto some sort of a strong support system so that the melon doesn't fall off before it's ready to. Or if it is ready, it falls into that little support system so that it doesn't land on the ground and then you miss it and critters get to it. So what I like to do, and really it can be any type of fabric that is just stretchy. I use pantyhose and I will just come in and I'll just cut just right across. A good piece of it so that I can then turn around and put the melon down at the bottom and then the other side I'll use to tie it on to support the melon itself so this is what it's gonna look like okay here's my fruit and I'm gonna take the whitest part of the pantyhose or the fabric that you cut I'm just gonna put it down below and then I'm gonna tie it to the next strongest support system for this melon and I'm just gonna do a quick little knot again not wanting to choke out any of the branches or the leaves surrounding it but just offer it some support here to the melon itself and then I'm just going to make sure it can still get some sunlight and that's it hey, a melon hammock yes strawberry. oh you got a strawberry let me see red. it's a red strawberry yeah you're still harvesting some straw. Oh, is it good? I thought that those were Kajari melons, but then the way that they've been developing kind of more of an oblong, uh, long shape makes me think that they're not Kajari at all because Kajaris tend to develop as a full little bulb, a circle. So we'll see what those are, but either way, I'm sure they're going to be delicious. It just happens every now and then, you know, the seed companies are packing the packets and, and, um, human nature you might grab a little bit from here and a little bit from there and you, you know just accidentally do it so I'm okay with that just makes it a little bit more tricky to trying to see what you're growing got a ton of peppers that are ready in fact we pulled off a uh, poblano pepper right that had turned red the other day mm -hmm. it was like a red purple but here's the uh, some of the mammoth jalapenos I think I'll make some jalapeno poppers this week Let me talk to you guys about milk jugs, vinegar jars, anything like that. Plastic, of course. You can go online to Amazon and order more um, bigger size containers that you can take your seeds once they've gotten to a certain point and transplant them into. Or you could use this following trick. Before you do this, you're going to want to make sure that the plastic container that you're going to use is a safe container. Um, if you look at the bottom of any plastic container, It'll tell you the number followed by some letters. If you Google this, it'll tell you if this type of plastic is safe to use. Then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna puncture a hole into it and then you're gonna take scissors and you're just going to cut. You're gonna cut around until you can get a nice square that you can use, like this right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'll drill holes down at the bottom so that water can get out and drain. But I'll add some dirt into this. I'll put my transplants inside of it. And then we'll use this to grow them to a bigger size before they're ready to go into their permanent home. We're going around and we're harvesting the okra. And my partner in crime over here, he told me that we missed one. So <laughs> there's a big difference from this one to this one. Once they get too big though, they're really not good because the okra gets fibrous. I could eat the okra just like this. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and sign off because it's getting too hot out here. You wanna say bye to everyone? No, bye. <laughs> we're gonna go inside to cool off, but we'll see you.
next time here at Texas Size Gardening. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.